This is the pathogenesis of refeeding syndrome. In order to get refeeding syndrome, you need to start with starvation and a catabolic state in which you have low insulin, high glucagon, and high cortisol levels in the blood. This results in ketone bodies, ketone bodies that are being used in the brain but not in the muscles. And the other downstream effects of low insulin, high glucagon are high glycogenolysis, high lipolysis, and high protein catabolism. This results in a depletion of fat, protein, vitamins, and minerals, as well as intracellular electrolytes. And this is what sets the stage for refeeding syndrome. Then when you start refeeding, you enter a quick anabolic state and it's an abrupt shift. You'll have a sudden increase in insulin, which results in high glycogen synthesis, high protein synthesis, and high intracellular uptake of phosphate, potassium, magnesium, and thiamine. This means that in the serum, all of these things will be low. So low serum phosphate, potassium, magnesium, and thiamine. You'll also have increased sodium and water retention. The signs and symptoms result from these serum derangements. So patients can have arrhythmia, congestive heart failure symptoms like pulmonary edema and peripheral edema, seizures, as well as Wernicke encephalopathy.